Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I bring you episode 4 of Splatoon 2. Uh, this guide again is a all collectibles guide and we are on the third level, uh, Beaker's Depot. So the first collectible is um, over here up this little wall. Uh, just jump across and in that box and you get the uh, first Sardinian. Now the next one is where you have to go around shooting the balloons. I do recommend that you uh, paint the whole area first because you have to be quickly going from balloon to balloon. Uh, so the first one there is pretty easy. Then I'll split off with these two. Quickly jump onto this rail. Uh, get ready to aim as you're coming up. There'll be two balloons on this rail uh, to hit. This is a little tricky here. Make sure you get this jump. Land on the other rail. Uh, jump off as this one will start flying away. Um, it'll split into three. Actually, this is probably the trickiest part is hitting these three. They tend to uh, float away pretty quickly. Make sure this area is painted right here. Climb up this wall. This one will be floating right to you. And then on your left is the last one. And then the collectible will be in the box. Moving on. Level 10. This one can be a little bit tricky. Make sure you shoot these uh, first two boxes. Do not shoot the next ones. Uh, instead, shoot that one that's down below. Drop down. Watch out for the guy that's trying to ink you. Uh, and then the scroll will be in that box right there. This next one is a little bit trickier. Uh, make sure you hit all those sponges. Go across as the Octo Seeker tries to uh, smash you. Um, I didn't have a great way of doing this. You just have to avoid them. And then the collectible is actually behind him where the portal is to go to the end of the level. So avoid him, then hit the sponges, and then quickly run across. I think I did get hit here. Um, grab the sardine. Yep, I did get hit here. Um, but you shouldn't die from it, and then you can make your escape. Moving on, level 11. This one's pretty easy. This will be a big maze area where we're chasing a bunch of guys. You will know this area when you get to it. Uh, there'll be that little um, netting down there. Go down there, shoot that guy, and get the scroll. This last part is kind of a pain. I think I died a couple times. All you gotta do is run around, kill all these guys. There'll be two keys. So the one that holds the collectible is the one on the back right here. Go to that one first, because once you open the other one, uh, you pretty much go to the end of the level and you can't backtrack. So go to this one, grab it, the Sardinian is yours. On to level 12! This one, these are pretty easy. Um, this paint guy just kind of chases you, just shoot the wall, uh, climb up it when you get to this area. This is the bouncing level, there's a bunch of things to bounce on. Uh, these are really hard to miss. You'll see the boxes in the air. Uh, just, just keep your eyes up one for them and, you, and you'll get it. Um, this next one is where the next paint man is. Uh, kind of sneak by him, climb up this wall right here, uh, then turn around, shoot the wall behind you, and then it'll be, it's in that box on top of the, uh, the, the little building right there. Uh, get his attention um, and just climb up there and it's pretty easy. Again, you're going to know these areas when you get to them. Uh, just play through the level uh, and then you should be good. On to level 13. This first collectible takes a little preparation. You gotta paint all these um, pillars that are moving in and out. So when you hit that, um, I don't know what to call it, but when you hit it, it spins and these pillars come out. You gotta paint them uh, before they come out. So you have to do a dry run to get up here, paint them um, so you can quickly go because the gun you have won't give you enough time to um, paint them as you're going along. Um, so this last one, uh, this is towards the very end of the level. There's a bunch of these paint man guys here. Um, it's going to be on top of one of the pillars. You'll see it in a second here as this guy loops around. He wasn't following where I wanted him to go. Um, but there it is in that box right up there. All I got to do is get over to that area, shoot the wall, climb up, and get the scroll. Pretty easy. So jump on the wall, get up, get the box, and you're good to go. Level 14. This level was kind of a pain. I do not like the sniper rifle. Um, even with motion controls on, which I keep off, I still have troubles with it. And I'm generally a pretty good sniper. I don't think the Switch has very good control schema. But anyway, when you get this air, you'll know it again. There'll be a guy sniping in the middle. Um, when you get to that spot, just drop down. It's right behind there. This one, the Sardinian here, very easy. Again, it's kind of shining. There's nothing hidden about it. Really can't miss it unless you're just not paying attention towards the end of the level. And that's all you need to do. Level 15. This again is that arena, like every uh, level has had so far. Um, I've already killed all the guys. You will get a key as you, um, you know, beat up on the other players. Um, so that box holds the Sardinian. And these are both, both of these are on the enemy side. So just make your way down there, uh, get that box, and right next to it is a scroll. 
And then finally is the boss level. So once you beat him, he'll blow up. And then the Sardinian will be right in front of you. Hey guys, I hope this video helped you a lot. Uh, please share it if it did. And stay tuned for my next video. Uh, thanks.